Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hello, my most amazing news art students. How are you today? And I hope you sang back, ready to create, because I am ready to create with you. And I have a great idea for you today. We are going to make a kindness point poster or kindness poster. This idea came from a teacher site I go to called The Art of Education. And I am going to tell it up to you right now. I'm going to show you their directions for the poster. I'm talking like my nieces and my nephews that live in North Carolina right now. I don't know why. I just feel like it. A kindness poster. So why make a kindness poster? To create a poster that sends a positive message to everybody that sees it. Because we all need a little encouragement right now. Stuck at home, can't go nowhere, can't see our friends, can't see my teachers, can't see my most favorite students of all that go to Sonoma Elementary School. But I can make a poster that inspires us all. So on this website, it says use anything. Use paper, use cardboard. If you have a newspaper, paint on the newspaper, paint on a paper bag, a brown paper bag, be creative. In fact, I've got another idea about painting with a very strange thing for you on another day. So what do you do after that? It's got some ideas about fancy letters you can use, about messages that you can send, and symbols of positivity. Because that's what we all want to do, be positive. And I took a picture of this here website and put it in my Bloom's message that also has this here link to it. I've done a few of them because I was so in need of some encouragement. The first one I did, I did on square paper and I just painted the word kindness and put a big heart in there. I used paint for this y'all, but the yellow part is crayon. I used one of their examples that said, just breathe. <sighs> when you're feeling stressed, just breathe. <sighs> and that's what this one says. I used markers for this right down here in this pink one. See that light pink? The reason, the way I did that was I did what Miss Cassie Stevens did in her robot picture last year or last week, and I did it with pink marker, and then I went over it with water so it looked like pink. And then I came up with my own motivational sign. Is mine unique to moi? Kindness, let it spiral. And today. I'm going to show you all how to do spirals. My kindergartners already know because I did it with them. I'm going to show you how to paint spirals. You can paint with anything. You can paint with old coffee ground. You can paint with grape juice. And maybe you have some watercolors at home, which would be wonderful if you do. So here we all go. I have this out. Now, if you don't want it to get messy and you have a Sharpie marker at home, you can use Sharpie because Sharpie will not bleed. In fact, that's a good idea. I think I have a blue Sharpie someplace. Where could it be? Oh, excuse some waffle in it. Right here. Come, I guess. I'm going to put let it spiral, but you don't need to put anything but your own favorite message. Maybe I'm going to do find the good. No, I did find the good. Love always wins. That's what I'm going to do. Love always wins. Harper Creek Blue. Love. I'm going to try some of these lines like this. I don't know if it will work or not. But we'll see. Love. Can't see it, can you? I better close the tops. Always wins, always. How are we going to do always? Hmm. 
maybe I'll make always just plain. Okay, I like having different sizes of letters. And wins, I'm gonna try those fancy ones again down here on wins. And make that really big. And I'll be a little turkey. We'll try it here. I'm going to do capital M. We have to make those shorter. This may or may not work. Mistakes are okay. That's what I always say. There we go. Ooh, S is a tricky one. All right. Think about the S. Make it big up here. Just make it be okay. Hmm. Love always wins. There we go. There's our message. So, ready for spirals. If I had a different color of permanent marker that did not, uh, but I use it, but I don't. Okay, so love always wins. Now it's painting spirals. I've got an assortment of brushes here. You probably only have one brush at home. Use anything you want. You could even paint it with your finger if you wanted to. So let's take my brush. I've already woken it up. Wake up red. Wake up orange. Wake up yellow. Wake up green. Oh, you can't see me. Wake up blue. Wake up purple. Wake up brown. Wake up red. Good morning, Mrs. Picard. Good morning, colors. How are you today? Oh, we are doing fine. Spirals. Put it on the tip of your brush. Hold your brush and then just paint around like that. Now repetition in art is always good. So I'm going to paint a few with orange before I switch to another color. I'm going to vary the size because variation also creates interesting artwork. I'm going to have one look like it's going off the page. Now remember, I have a mess of mat down here on mine. Make sure that you have something underneath your artwork so you don't hurt your table at home or whatever you're working on. Love always wins. I think I want another one up here. I use blue. I have orange. Blue and orange are opposite each other in the color wheel. That creates a lot of contrast. So let's see. Let's get some more blues. Actually, you know what? I might just stick with the warm colors because I might have them go over each other. Yellow. I might even make some new colors as they overlap. Some yellow orange. If I get too much orange on my brush, I am going to rinse it off. Oh, I dipped it in mine by accident. Oh dear. Yellow. Go around and around. That's easy to do. On tippy toes. Remember to rinse your brush between colors. Now the other, we've got orange, we've got yellow. Do you remember the other warm color that we use? Yellow, orange, and... Did I hear you say red? Yes! Red is the other warm color. The color of the sun. So we're going to add some red in here. Hmm, let's see. I don't have to rinse it. Oh, I had them run into the other ones. That's a cool effect. Spiral, spiral, spiral. Spiral, spiral, spiral. We don't have any spirals in here, do we? Sometimes I use my, put my finger down. Oops, I got a little mess up there. That's all right. I can't see it blurred. No problem. Dark red, light red. I don't have many of the other colors there. I don't have the red up here. So I think I need some yellow in the bottom. Oops, I've got a little too much red there. Remember, we use a sponge at school. I don't have a sponge at home. Oh, 
and the other here. I'm going to make a big one that looks like it's going around there. A little bit more yellow. And then I want you to all to put your encouraging message someplace where your family will see it, someplace where you will see it, and I would love to see it. I think I want to paint over these words too a little bit. So I'm going to get some yellow because yellow will be a light color. And I'm going to paint right over this. Oh, can I see it? Might have had a little bit too dark. Now remember, I could only do that because this was a permanent marker. It was a Sharpie. If you had a watercolor marker, that wouldn't work so well. That's a little too dark right there. Mm -hmm. Love always wins. We know that's the truth, don't we? You have a kind heart, a love in your heart, no matter where you are or what you're doing. You're going to have a great day. Oh, look at what happened. It turned orange when it went through there. Love always wins. All righty, you guys. So, I can't wait to see what your kindness posters look like and how much joy they bring to your family. Happy art making, and I'll see you again in a day or two.